Good evening, everyone. Colonel Aldous Fowler here with you once again. And I may have made a grievous error in judgment. I probably should not have returned to uh, the public light. Um, I have some enemies, as you might expect, and they've gotten a hold of a sex tape that I produced um, a little while ago, and they are blackmailing me. Well, blackmail might work on somebody who's got shame, but as we all know, there ain't no shame in my game. Roll the tape. Yeah, you're nasty, aren't you? Mm. Just wait till I get this cheese open. Hold on, let me bite some holes in this cheese. That way you can still see my nipples. <clears throat> Filthy. You're disgusting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What? Yeah. You are a nasty girl. Oh, hold on. This cheese doesn't want to stick. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. I have done a lot of things in my life that I'm not proud of. And the things that I am proud of are disgusting. I uh, obviously can't show you that entire video here on YouTube. Um, it gets a little spicy, but I have published it over at aldusvalor.com and you can watch it in its entirety. In the meantime, roll credits. It's peacetime, isn't it? Or at least I thought it was. I mean, we're not all fighting some foreign war against the Axis powers. We're mostly at home and we're mostly at peace. And yet we're running out of things. We're running out of all kinds of things. Things that we took for granted. We're experiencing shortages on everyday consumer products that up until the China virus were always there for us. Chicken, pork, ketchup, diapers, bicycles, appliances, propane tanks, chlorine, generators, roofing materials, lumber, plastics, ammunition, automobiles, all of them, shortages across the board. And we notice that the prices on these things have gone up? I mean, it's supply and demand, it's basic economics, right? Um, oils up 12%, steel 200%, chicken 110%, eggs 4%, major appliances 14%, ground beef and fresh fruits 5%, existing homes 16%, lumber, lol, 280%. It's inflation, it's rampant, it's it's out of control, it's, 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 it's manufactured inflation. This is what happens when you shut down the most powerful economy in the world. You force the workers out of the workplace for months to the point where they can't earn a living anymore. And yes, this did start under Trump. But the coronavirus, overhyped by the media, all right, the shutdowns, harshly enforced by liberal by liberal state governments all right lock everybody out of the job and then starve them let them suffer for a little bit and then we can print tons of money 
which devalues it. That's a fact. In order to save them from a crisis, we manufactured ourselves. It's original sin all over again. This also has the added benefit of forcing the businesses that do dare to open during this pandemic to raise wages to $15 an hour, which is something liberals have been screaming for for years. They have to raise wages to $15 an hour in order to compete with unemployment compensation. Those that can't shut down. That's no big loss. All that does is leave behind the Walmarts and the Amazons of the world. This gets the liberals everything that they want. Fifteen useless dollars an hour and the Waltons and Bezos are the world's only employers. Everybody wins. Except for the worker. And not only is this liberal dystopia just one or two election cycles away, but at any moment, a cyber attack can shut down our entire infrastructure. Look what just happened to gasoline. Look how quickly that spiraled out of control. Atlanta, the largest city in the South, ran out of gasoline in 20% of its gas stations. That's one in five. Now, if you're trying to build a new home for you and your family, I sincerely hope that it is right next to a lumber yard because who knows how much it's going to cost to fucking transport that dimensional lumber to the work site. But we can take solace in one fact. It's the Green New Paradise! This is what the liberals have been building for so long. Everything, everything is going according to plan for this beautiful green new world. Those rolling blackouts that happened in Texas over the winter, well, also part of the plan because they were, you know, incentivized to, bend, to build uh, windmills and not only are those worthless, but they freeze in the winter. And, you know, never mind the fact that producing the batteries for your electric car or the parts for your windmills are super destructive to the environment. We need to strip mine that lithium out of the earth with vehicles that can't possibly be electric. We have to do this. It's the only way that we can do our part and sleep at night. The next two years are going to be incredibly important. The Liberals control two branches of the federal government. They plan to super pack the courts so that they can take the third. D.C. is well on its way to becoming a state, which gives us, what, three, four more Liberal congressmen? And, uh... <laughs> Well, we just let in thousands of illegal immigrants to ensure that the Democrats never lose another election, right? You might think I'm worrying about nothing, but I'm not. There is a two-class system coming, the vaccinated and the unvaccinated, the haves, and the have-nots. You want to get your groceries? You need to present your vaccine passport. And guess what? There's going to be a lot more diseases that you're going to need to be vaccinated against. You're going to be stuck several times. So, get your vaccines or get in the gulag. I've been Aldous Valor and, well... You can do your part to fight against the liberal menace over at AldisValor.com. Good night, everybody.
Mozzarella!